here with Matt McCutcheon after winning the Keystone Classic. Matt, you went up a weight class uh, this year. Can you talk a little bit about your approach to going up a weight class, um, maybe a little later than maybe you wanted to? Yeah, I just kind of lost my wrestle off. I was a tough wrestler, he, so uh, I won the finest spot on the team. And I got up going 97. We have another tough wrestler there, Kellen, wrestling yeah. great today. And, uh, so I just I, I found a way to beat him, and now um, I just got to put on some weight. And guys are stronger, a little bigger, stronger hips. So What's your walk around weight right now? Uh, anywhere from 97 to 200. Okay. So I'm up there. I got to put on more weight. Yep. One more size. How do you? This is your first tournament of this. I didn't mean to cut you off. Did you? No, it's fine. First tournament of the season. You approach that a little differently, just coming in, filling into the weight class, maybe, or not? As far as a tournament. You know, I think uh, same approach. Uh, I'm wrestling a little more strategically right now, just trying to get a feel for things, and uh, hopefully I can keep picking up the pace the more I go, more I go, the stronger I get. So uh, I think it's going to be the same attitude going every tournament, going in the win and score, score points, and uh, just keep learning, getting better for the end of the year. One of the things that really separates guys who are good wrestlers from really good wrestlers is their mental toughness. Can you just talk about, so you, you mentioned you lost your wrestle-off, but it didn't seem like you missed a beat from the outside. Bump up, no cut, loss of confidence, and wrestling bigger guys. Can you just talk about your self-confidence and what kind of mental approach you have to the sport? Yeah, our coaches do a good job of making us vision. Uh, everything we want to do for whether it's winning a national title, some some guys have different goals, but it's, uh, even after I lost that wrestle off, I, my vision didn't change. I uh, took the same approach every day in practice, just getting better, working better for the end of the year. I'm working harder for, towards the end of the year, and uh, I, don't, I don't think anything changes a, a loss in a wrestle off. Just like if a guy loses out here, it doesn't matter. You learn from it and get better the next day. So totally. Where does that competitive toughness come from? Uh, family, friends, coaches. I mean, it's. Did you always have it? I'm. We, we have a pretty competitive uh, household, me and my brother, my dad, and my mom even sometimes. We, we, we like to stay competitive. Are you wrestling your mom? No, no I don't okay. wrestle. Me and my brother scrapped okay. all the time. My dad would sometimes jump in there with us, not as much anymore. Right. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, my, I think it comes from my brother really just teaching me. I mean, always getting beat up when I was younger, but I just wanted to get better. So Right. Uh, I think It's I a great a thing for him. kids to learn. Yeah, right? exactly. Um, so filling up your in the season you're trying to get bigger right now just to um, just so you're of equal stat size right yeah. um, is there anything different that you're doing this year from previous years as far as just training uh, just getting in the weight room so as many times as I can during the week it yeah. depends on what we have coming up the coaches do a good job make sure I'm healthy and uh, and rested up for my matches but at the same time they're doing a good job getting me in the weight room and making sure I'm putting in the good calories at the same time so I'm just trying to get bigger. Gotcha. Yep. Thanks for the time. All right. Thank good you. luck this year. Thank you.